Hello and welcome to another year of 7 Days of Sharp... Starting off the shark news this week, the Scottish Wildlife Trust and Marine Conservation Society has sought backing from the devolved Scottish Government to allow Scotland to be home to the world's first safe zone for basking sharks. The primary area that the conservationists are looking to be protected is the Sea of the Hebrides, but North East Lewis, Southern Trench and Shant East Bank are also being considered as potential marine protected areas, or MPA. The MPA regarding the Sea of Hebrides would like to cover an area that is a habitat for whales, dolphins and for the first time in the world, basking sharks. Currently the conservation status of basking sharks is vulnerable. In other news, a new species of kite fin shark has been described this week. The shark, named Mollusquama mississippiensis, I mean, they really are having a laugh with these names at this point, aren't they? Is found in the eastern South Pacific Ocean, and is certainly an odd-looking shark, even as kitefish go. Kitefish are characterised by their robust lower jaws, and their dorsal fins do not have spines, with the exception of the two Squaliolus species. And in our final bit of shark news, a group of great white sharks have seemed to have moved along an area of the south coast of California, which has captured the attention of tourists and scientists alike. This most unusual occurrence is being attributed to the rise in sea temperatures, as the Great White's warm internal body temperature would mean they don't want to venture into waters that are too cold. With the rising global temperatures, the California coastline is no longer a place that Great Whites feel uncomfortable, suggesting that in the future we may see more marine animals in places they wouldn't have been seen in before. A quick bit of normal news now. A new census in India has shown that it is home to nearly 3,000 tigers, this being a third more than four years ago, a very pleasing increase in their population. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said that India is now one of the biggest and most secure habitats of the tiger. India's tiger count happens every four years and is a very long and difficult task to undertake. It is now estimated that India is home to about 70% of the global population of tigers. And in paleontological news this week, American and Peruvian scientists have discovered an 18 million year old fossil monkey, the smallest ever found. This tiny little animal was no heavier than a modern hamster, and it crucially helps bridge a 15 million year gap in New World monkeys, according to the Duke University and the National University of Piura in Peru. Perhaps surprisingly, the only part of the remains that were recovered in the expedition was a singular tooth, but paleontologists can tell a lot from monkey teeth, including its diet, which they believe to be energy-rich fruits and insects. Thank you for listening to this week's episode of 7 Days of Shark Science. I do hope you enjoyed it, and if you did and haven't already, feel free to subscribe to learn more about this world, its history, and the wonderful life that surrounds you. If you have, we'll see you in tomorrow's Shark Week special, where we'll be looking at our pick at the five weirdest living sharks.